What's up, everybody? It's your boy DJ, my boy Frank over there. We're both sitting here working on our trail finder. I mean, no. What were we working on, Frank? Hey, trail finder. So we're working on the, the uh, oh, hang on a second. Hold on a second. Let me get the box. Get the box. We're working on the saw bag. Yeah. That's right, folks. Trying to get it done for you. Look at that pick. That is awesome. But anyway. It's a little bit tricky. But um, yeah. It's all right, though. It's, it's uh oh This is as far as I got so far. Got the chassis together. I'm working on my front suspension. Uh, solid axles are really cool with that little plate there. Real metal right there, folks. Really scale looking. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, so it's coming together really good. Did a really good job. And it got no slipper clutch, but it's still okay. They, they Let them have a good quality. look at your chassis, Frank. Let them get a good look at your chassis, buddy. Okay, nice. Bling, oh. bling. I ain't got Money ain't a thing. Middle, All right, give them another view. Flip it around, please. All right, now move your hand. No, bring that other side over this way. Yeah, I want to get uh, the motor side, yeah. And we're just running stock motors in ours. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stock motor. Uh, 27 turn. No biggie. But yeah, it's coming together real good. We got a big mess here. But we're having fun working on this all back. Um, again, here's mine. I'm a little further than my boy Frank. I got my front axle about to mount it in there. Uh, I got my little bling bling <laughs> 27 turn motor. Gonna be kicking it in this all back. Yeah, really nice, guys. Uh, look at that front end. It's going to be really nice when I get together. But it's coming together real good. Um, again, you got the metal mounts right here, which are really cool. Uh, shock mounts, really nice. You have an adjustable battery tray right here in the back. Boom, boom. Can be slid, slid up closer for smaller LiPo packs, whatever. Uh, here's a tranny. Pretty beefy. No slipper, but it's a beefy tranny. I got to give that to it. It's very, the gears in it are very large, very um, what's the word? Solid gears, man. I really like them. So it's, it's really old school. <laughs> no slipper clutch. Uh oh. Yeah, check that out. You gotta like the bling of the uh, steel dipped in chrome. Really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Um, also, while we're there. And we're Frank doing his thing. Here's the rear solid axle. Again, that motor cover is metal, baby. And they had us use uh, zip ties to keep the leaf springs together. And of course, those will get cut. And you can see the U joints or bolts, whatever you want to call them. Pretty nice, guys. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Bearings, full bearings, of course. Fully locked. It doesn't have a locker like the axle SCX10. The locker is just the locker actually is just integrated into the the gear, which is what you know. Very, it just simplifies everything. You know why go through having a diff locker when you can just lock the lock the spool or the the bevel gear or whatever else. That's how it works. Again, get you another view. One more view before I let you go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Bling 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 bling. Very nice. Okay, just wanted to give you a little update. Again, that's my boy Frank. Say, say adios, Frank. Let the folks know. Adios. All right, all right. We're going to get back to working on the uh, saw back by G-Maze. Okay, guys. Later.